atmospheric perspective dictates that the hills furthest away from you are lighter. Uh, in other words, the hills which are further away are more faded because of the atmosphere between us and the things in the very distance which creates uh, the effect that they appear lighter and then nearer they become darker. But don't do the ones in the foreground too dark because they are going to be, uh, well, you might not see the bottom of the trees for one. When it comes to be painting the hills in the background, because it's going to be quite light, I'm just probably going to use a little bit of this paper with a bit of paint on it. So I'm not taking any of that paint because I think this might be light enough. Keep the brush wet. Keep blending in the paint sections you've done. Okay. I'm painting over the bits I've already painted because I don't want it to dry because I don't want any streaky areas and brush strokes. So I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a little bit of a darker colour or should I say more colour towards the bottom of the hill there. What you want to do is you want to leave that dry before you do the next hill. That can be dried of course with uh, a fan heater or a hair dryer just to speed it up a little bit. So the next stage I'm going to do is I'm going to do this hill which is going to be slightly darker. So I'm going to use this colour I've got again. Tiny bit more black. Again, don't want to overdo it. As you can see now, I've worked only with the big brush because this big brush is in pretty good condition, goes to quite a fine point. If you get any of these small little bits of paper, wouldn't worry about them. They are just coming off either the test paper or the watercolour paper uh, and they will brush off when they dry. So the next hill is going to be uh, slightly darker still. So again, Take a little bit more colour. That's going to be a bit darker. So the changes are quite subtle. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking actually it's not much difference from that. So I'm just going to go over it again tiny bit more paint still wet so therefore all of my brush strokes are blending in together And lastly, I'm going to do the foreground. So as you can see, 
because I'm working wet on wet uh, I'm allowed to build in the colour, add a little bit more darker colour, a little bit more black and therefore uh, build up the colour and not see any brush strokes. So now I've given that a chance to dry you can see uh, these little bits will actually brush off uh, and we have our clouds we have our furthest mountain which is the lightest then we have the ones getting gradually darker now when you look at these two there is very little difference between them so you've got one of two choices you can either work into this and make this a bit darker or work into that and make that a little bit darker or you can create an outline uh, which will give it that more three-dimensional effect the problem is with doing the outline if you don't do it well if you don't do it correctly you will end up uh, making it look uh, not as effectively and end up with a lower mark so this is what I mean by using an outline so I'm going to take some black a little bit of water not too much water with the black it's absolutely essential you have a very good quality fine brush to do this so what I'm going to do here Paint a very fine black outline. You can see it's a broken outline which starts and stops and starts a bit. Then I'm going to take a clean brush, take the excess water off, and then gradually blend the outline in Okay, so I've done that on that one. So this outline is going to be slightly darker. It's effectively just being done with clean water. And I can even very subtly put in a few hints of an outline the hills in the distance being careful not to draw a line all the way around them just hinting in places so that's not finished we could do a little bit more here and a little bit more there but I'm gonna be happy with that the next thing to do is to work out uh, where we're going to put the trees